you're about to learn a series of exercises that will transform your life. These exercises are based on the Chinese medicine system, internal exercises. I learned these exercises many years ago and have been practicing them for more than four decades. They have changed my body and kept me at least 15 years younger than my actual age. I am powerful. I don't require a lot of sleep. My sexual energy is good. And my personal power and strength gets better every day. Here's how they work. There's a series of rivers running through the body. These rivers are called meridians. Meridians flow through the body and carry the energy or the chi. There's a different meridian for each organ. There's one for the lungs, the large intestines, the stomach, the spleen, our heart, the small intestines, the urinary bladder, the kidneys, the triple burner, the pericardium, the gallbladder, and the liver. And then there's two other meridians, the central and governing meridian. These meridians are like rivers of energy and they're constantly flowing and moving. As long as the energy is moving in the meridians, you stay young and vibrant. But if there's a blockage mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, or psychologically, it's like taking a huge boulder and throwing it in the river. And when the energy comes, it hits it. It causes some form of disease, not a disease, but a disease in the energy flow. When that happens inside, we become uncomfortable mentally, uh, physically. We just don't feel ourselves. We feel depressed, sad, emotional. We have, we just have an energy blockage, and we don't feel ourselves. As you practice these exercises you'll get these meridians to start flowing. As the meridians flow, the chi flows through those meridians and it opens up the energy. As that energy opens, you will notice a vitality and strength that you haven't experienced in years. These energy exercises pull the chi through your body and what follows chi is your blood so there's no blood stagnation the brain gets fed the liver gets fed the heart gets fed the spleen all the internal organs and your sexual energy gets fed you feel vibrant we're about to start these exercises we're going to start out with an opening exercise where we have gratitude inside and thankfulness for, for who we are. We acknowledge the space. That's the first one. Then we're going to go and we're going to move into an exercise where we throw away the stale energy. Once we get rid of this stale energy, we bring in more clean, vibrant, strong chi. Then we're going to get into an exercise to throw out the old and bring in the new. Then will focus on the three power exercises. The exercise to ground you and keep you balanced and strong. Then we'll move into the exercise to balance the Shen, to bring the Shen in. The Shen is the spiritual part. If there's an imbalance in your body and it happens something out of your control and yet your energy becomes imbalanced, the Shen set will balance that out. Then we'll get into the power exercise and give you such a force, such a precision force and strength inside, you'll feel the power coursing through every meridian. Your blood, your power, your energy, your sexual energy will soar. These are the exercises that have been practiced in China for thousands of years. These are the exercises that the masters have brought in and kept secret. Some 40 years ago, I learned these from a master and now I'm going to share them with you. So let's get started. Put your attentions on your toes. Now your heels, the outside of the feet the inside of the feet, now the balls of the feet. 
Let your knees bend slightly and the pelvis tilt forward. Allow all of your energy to drop to the point below your navel called the lower tantian. Imagine that roots are going from the bottom of your foot down into the ground and allow all of the heavy energies to sink down and the lighter energies to start to float up. Now, take a breath. Inhaling, allow the hands to float up over the head. Grab the energy from the heavens and bring it back to the lower Tantian. We're starting to mix yin and yang. Inhaling the yang energy, pulling it down to the yin. Again, inhaling through the nose, holding the breath, exhaling. Balancing, harmonizing the energy. Now, the hands go out to the sides. As you're breathing, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. When you're inhaling, inhale white light, exhaling dark energy. Pulling in the good, throwing off the bad. Pulling in the good, throwing off the bad. Balancing yin, balancing yang. Just let your body be loose. Continue breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Let the breath and the body work together. This will throw the negative energy away and bring positive strength and chi into your body. Taking a deep breath again, reaching up over your head and just bring everything back to the lower Tantian. Many years ago in southern China, there was a family and how they live is the father of the family would go down to the seashore every day and he would collect what's in the tide pools. Sometimes he would get a fish, sometimes he would get clams, whatever f fell into that tide pool, he would collect that, he would bring it home and his wife would make a soup and that's how they'd feed the family. One full moon evening, he couldn't sleep. So he woke up and he decided to go down to the tide pools. He brought his lantern and he brought his net and he walked down about a half a mile to the sea. When he got there, he put down his lantern and he went over to the tide pool to see what he could find. He looked into the pool and there at the bottom of the pool was a huge pearl the size of a bowling ball. When he saw this, he went, wow, this is incredible. That is the largest pearl I have ever seen. That is probably the largest pearl in the world. I'm going to get that pearl and transform my life. I'll never have to work again. My wife will never have to work. My children will never have to work. I will be the most famous person in all of China for finding the largest pearl in the world. So he went over to the tide pool. He bent over and reached down and started, try, started to trying to get the pearl. He moved his hands back and forth, shh, shh, making the sound, shh, the sound of the water moving. He couldn't get the pearl. It was the strangest thing. We stood up and when he stood up, he took a breath and he saw the full moon. And when he saw the moon, he went, ah, it's so beautiful. And then he realized it was just the reflection in the pool. No money, no wealth, no power. Ah. And that's the story of how this exercise goes. Reach up over the top of your head 
and then you're going to bend over, moving your hands from side to side, making the sound shh, reaching up, inhaling, ha, ho. Again, inhaling, ha, the sound of the heart, ho, the sound of the liver. Again, inhaling, ha, ho. Now bend over again. Shh, the sound of the lungs, clearing the lungs of sadness and grief. Shh, reaching up over your head. Grabbing the energy. Ha! Ah, clearing the heart. Ho! Oh, freeing the liver of negativity. Inhaling. Ha! Ah, freeing the heart of Russian hastiness. Ho! Oh, freeing the liver of anger. Ha! Ah, Ho! We're about to move into the grounding exercise. This exercise is to allow the heaviness in the body to travel down into the earth. As you drop your energy into the earth, like you're sending roots down into the earth, you're going to move the energy down from kidney one, right at the bottom of the foot, sending these roots about two body lengths down into the earth. Then, you start to bring the energy up from the earth, from those roots, up the back of your leg, up your spine. It goes over your head, and the energy comes down to about three finger lengths below the navel point, called the lower tantien, where you're pouring that energy in. So you're going to start to build and grasp the energy from the earth and ground the body. At times I hear people saying that they're out of balance, they're off balance, things seem to be spinning around. As you do these exercises, it'll ground you, balance you, and center you. So let's begin. Step out, shoulder width, inhaling. Bring the hands up level with the navel point. The knees are bent slightly. The pelvis is forward, like you're holding a ball of energy right at the navel point. The chin is pushed back slightly. The chest is open, allowing all the heavy energies to drop from your navel from the lower tantien down, bringing the lighter energies start to float up. You're going to balance your energies right at the lower tantien, right below the navel balancing yin and yang as you hold this ball of energy. You'll start to feel a heat sensation in both of your palms. Breathing down the front, exhaling up the back. So you're gonna be inhaling through your nose, bringing the energy all the way down to the navel. Exhaling, the energy goes up the back. Continue the breath as you hold the stance, allowing your shoulders to relax, your hands, your arms, your legs. Slightly pulling up on the mole bond, the sexual energy. Contract the penis, lift the scrotum, tighten the anal sphincter muscles. For the women, you're going to pull down on the clitoris, fold in the lips, tighten your anal sphincter muscle, and just gently hold that as you continue to do the breathing exercises. Breathing down the front, up the back, holding the pose, letting your body relax, balancing the energies between yin and yang, fire and water. Now step with your feet together, putting your hands right at the lower tantien, 
and letting go of all the energy, just relaxing in this pose. Stepping out to the side, shoulder width. Bring the hands up to the chest area. Feel the energy moving from your left hand into your right hand, like a circle of energy going around your body. Your tongue is up against your upper teeth. Your knees are bent, the pelvis is forward, shoulders are relaxed. Again, do the breathing technique, inhaling down the front, exhaling up the back. This is called the microcosmic orbit. You'll find more details in the CD enclosed in this package. Inhaling down the front, up the back, pulling up on the sexual energy, letting the whole body relax. The fingers and the toes, the hands and the feet, the calves and the forearms, the elbows and the knees, the thighs and the upper arms, your pelvis and your shoulders. Inhaling down the front and up the back. Quieting the mind. Relaxing. Feel the energy coursing through your meridians. Hands come down to the navel, put your feet back together, and just relax the sexual energy, relax your body, be at peace and in harmony. Step out once more, placing the hands at the side of the body like you're holding two beach balls under the water. They start to push up, you hold them down. This will open up the meridians in the hands and you'll start to feel more healing energy coursing through your hands. Again, pelvis is forward, pull up on the sexual energy. The tongue is on the upper teeth, in the back of your teeth. Just rest the tongue there and do the breathing exercises. Breathing down the front, up the back, pull up on the sexual energy. Feel the energy from the earth coming up to your hands. Feel your hands pouring energy down into the earth. Rooting, grounding, relaxing, opening. Feeling the chi. Feeling the energy harmonizing your body, mind, and spirit. These standing meditations are very